Oh, we are here in the Maasai Mara with the most incredible sighting. So Brent mentioned earlier that he felt as though there was murder and mayhem uh, last night at some point at the foot of the mountain that we live on. And we have our answer. A bit of a gruesome sight for those of you with slightly easily upset stomachs, but an absolutely fascinating one. My name is Jamie. This morning Dave is on camera with me, just like he's on camera with Brent, because right now we have one vehicle and we're both in it. So it's still Dave on camera. And we are here at the base of the hill that the Masai Mara is. I'm sorry, what am I talking about? I'm talking about our camp and Gama Mara and our camp that is next to it. So, the hyenas came racing out. Brent heard them chattering this morning, and it looks as though they have killed a hippopotamus. So we don't know if they were responsible. Out that hippopotamus's eye. Ooh. And we strongly suspect that that was not removed by the hyena, but by a tawny eagle that is sitting by and waiting for its opportunity. And these hyenas are just filthy. Look at them. They are absolutely covered in mud. Now, it's entirely possible that they, at some point last night, chased this hippopotamus into the muddy wallow. Hyenas here do hunt hippo. They have the numbers at... Um, well, the clans in Juman in the Sabi Sand just don't really have, and they actually don't need to. But these, interestingly enough, these hyenas have been very, very skittish and constantly looking up and listening to the sound of the lions roaring in the distance. Abby, the hyenas here do indeed use dens here in the Mara. They just look slightly different because the termite mounds are not particularly large and sometimes you get you can actually barely even see the termite mounds where they have their burrows and the structure is slightly different i've noticed a lot of very young hyenas wandering about with the adults so obviously with the distances here um, that they cover and that they have to travel hey you you are filthy look at you i'm gonna need a very big bath after that whoa <laughs> king of the castle. With the distances they have to travel, I think that the cubs, I presume the cubs come out younger and start to follow the clan at a younger age. That's something that we're going to see as we spend more and more time with them and as we communicate with the researchers that have been studying these hyenas for a long period of time. Now, if you would like your question answered in the same way, don't forget to send it through on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Now, Shailen, of course, you will have heard the nickname of the spotted hyena, which is the laughing hyena, and you want to know if hyenas really laugh. They do. It's not actually them laughing. They're not, they're not laughing because it's comic. The sound that they make, hyenas are very vocal creatures. The sound that they make is very, it sounds like people cackling away, and they usually do it at times of sort of heightened excitement, um, especially around a kill, which obviously led to the idea, and of course contributed to the terrible reputation and stigma that surrounds hyenas, although, I mean, this one's really not, <laughs> as it wanders through the mud, not really portraying the image of the intelligent, fantastic creatures that they truly are. But they do laugh, they cackle, and it's a fascinating sound. We've also heard them talking to each other the whole morning. Low, mm, sounds, sort of growling sounds. And interestingly enough, sounds that I've never heard from our sand hyena, at least while I've been there, and actually any hyena that I've seen in South Africa, a low vibration. It's it's a... Uh, I can't really imitate it. I don't quite know how to describe it. But it's a sound that I've never heard before, and hopefully in the course of the our time here in Kenya we'll be able to capture that sound on camera. Now, this is a serious meal, but there's lots of hyenas here too. There's about ten of them. Just hold on a second, there's a hyena calling and the others are responding. Let's just see if they call. From far away. Talking to each other. There's the one on the right, Dave, that's calling. 
Calling back to the hyena that was whooping far to the distance, back towards the mountain. Don't you think it sounds a little bit different? Obviously that was a contact call rather than a territorial whoop. That is the sound that hyenas are, spotted hyenas at least, are most famous for. Ooh. It's one of my favorite sounds in the world. And there must be a bu Eight that I can see. I'm... Molly, you want to know why do hyenas have larger numbers in the Mara? Prey density, I think, would be the big, the big answer to that. There's just more food. There's more food to support them. There's more available, may, more availability. And even though competition with lions is rife, it's high. There's lots and lots. Dave, look at that hyena over there on its back. Can you get it all the way? Yeah. To the, yeah. Oh, as I said, that it stopped. Of course. Competition with lions is rife, but there's enough food to feed all of them. So that's why the numbers are much, much higher here. The game, the numbers of general game are ten times higher than you would see the prey density here. Where are you off to? Look at that. You can see the excitement in the raised tails. What have you seen? I love hyenas. It's going to be so much fun getting to know the different dynamics. Oh, there's, they're running towards a hyena that's on the top of the crest. Well, not quite, sort of halfway up that first. Can you see it there, Dave? Yeah. There we go. They're racing off. That must have been the hyena that I heard calling. And they're racing off in that direction. Let's see how far they get, though, because I'm not sure that they're going to be able to... Oh, they're not going to be too bothered about racing all the way there with full bellies full of hippopotamus. Now, speaking of our poor deceased hippopotamus, I think it was Robert. Um, the sound of the communication from FC is quite soft, but apparently it was Robert. Robert, you want to know how many hyenas it would take to have killed this hippopotamus? I don't know. I, I've got no idea, and it's hard to judge with a sort of a bloated, muddy carcass. I would guess and say you'd need about 20, probably even more, depending on yeah, depending on what sort of situation you have. Brent is saying he thinks less. He thinks 10. From the researchers. From the researchers. Okay. Okay. Brent's been speaking to the hyena researchers. He said they've seen as few as 10 hyena take down a hippopotamus. That must have been a serious battle. When you think about the sheer difference in weight, from even the, I mean, these hyenas are a little bit smaller. So what would we say? 60, 70 kilogram hyenas? up against an animal that can weigh up to two tons is a massive difference in weight and the fact that ten of them can actually coordinate to do that just gives you an idea of just how intelligent hyena truly are because that takes really powerful social intelligence and coordination to be able to pull off a stunt like that they don't like unlike lions they don't have the advantage of sheer bulk and size <laughs> Someone's taking an opportunity to go and feed off the hippopotamus while everyone else is gone. Still thinking about it though, because of course, to get to the hippopotamus, you've got to go into the slippery mud. Waiting for all of the other hyenas to go. It's obviously had a chance to feed. Looks like a youngster to me. Doesn't look like an old hyena. Here's this dark hyena. There's a couple of them. There's two that I suspect were quite high ranking, and they've been watching the whole time, listening to the sounds of the lions calling. Oh, in you go. <laughs> so 
that a bit slippery there. Ah, you understand the, the tentative approach. It's not all that easy, and it does involve getting just a little bit dirty. And Mika, who is one of our eight-year-old viewers, Mika, welcome. I hope you are having fun. Mika, you want to know if hyenas will kill, clean themselves in the same way that cats do? Not really. To be honest, Mika, hyenas aren't particularly bothered by the whole idea of personal hygiene. It's very possible to see a hyena covered in caked-on day-old mud. They don't seem to be too bothered. They wait for it to dry. They'll roll it off a little bit. What they will do is they will roll around and sort of scrape their fur on the ground. But I think they do that more for the comfortable feeling that it gives them and the, the fact that it scratches their skin rather than to try and clean themselves. And you don't really see hyenas do a lot of aloe grooming. They touch each other. So what I mean by that is they don't groom each other in the way that lionesses do. They'll go up and they'll sniff each other, and occasionally you might see one or two licks. But you don't see the same bonds. You only really see grooming between mothers and cubs. You don't see it within the different members of the clan. Darby, can we go back up? to where those hyenas, I was wrong, they've all gone racing up the hill. Let's go see what they're, let's see what they're doing. Um, if you go a little bit to the left there, about halfway up the hill, wait, where are you? There you go. If you go to the top where that tree is, the tree that's sticking out at the crest, yeah, and go a bit to the right. You can see them there. There you go. There you go. Yo, oh, that's very far away. And there are lots and lots of hyena all over that crest. It gives you an idea of the numbers here. Somebody's got something that they're eating and chewing on. Looks like a leg. So probably not from our hippopotamus, actually. And that hyena looks as though it's got the bulk of the meal. I wonder if they didn't kill something else as well last night. I think so. They could easily have caught a zebra. We saw them chasing a zebra foal yesterday. And coordinating in a way that's powerfully intelligent, and I suppose for some people might be considered quite sinister, in the way that they chased them onto the slippery, muddy roads and up into the rocks of the mountains where they couldn't, they actually couldn't get up the bank. And you could see the panic in the zebra while we were watching them last night. Look at this, there's just hyenas everywhere. <laughs> Off they go, racing along. And now they're whooping. Awesome. We're gonna have the most amazing hyena sightings here in the Mara, but there's also amazing things to be found on Juma. Let's go and see what Luck Alley has had. <laughs> 